time to check something out for me? For you, Yuri? Anything. I'm on my way. Bird watching? I saw some pigeons over there. Can't have the ones inside feeling left out. Going down. MJ, I'm at the first location on your list. Guess what I found? Demons? Give the lady a prize. See if you can figure out what they're up to while I introduce myself. You're just not very observant. Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was, but one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn. Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's crazy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. Herman! 
Long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. <laughs> Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Want to play 20 questions? No? How about we come with Face punch it is. Whoa, your gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You want to fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back on the so we can talk science. Remember our first fight? Me so young and stupid, you just stupid! You talk too much! Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking versus not talking? Also, how would you measure? Okay, now I can do some real damage. Ah! What are you doing this, Herman? anymore. You're lucky you found actual cash. If you really want to rob banks, try daydream. It's all the rage. Oh, come on, Herman. Not even sure these guys are people. Could be anything under those masks. Wait, did you say masks? This one's gonna hurt. These mascots, what do they want the money for? I don't know, don't care. As soon as I finish the job, I'm gone. yourself. Literally. The raft is secure. 
secure, but I can't reach them over radio. Their comms must be down. What's your status? Already here. Yuri? I thought you said it was secure. It was. Let's go. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. Love the optimism. But in my experience, when it looks bad, it's usually worse. Look out! Yuri! I'm slipping! Gotcha. Hold on! You okay? Yeah. Welcome to the party! Just in time for the fireworks! <laughs> Looks like we made parole, boys! I'm out! Electro? Why is he letting everyone out? I'll head for the main control center and see how bad the situation is. Got it. I'll go join the party. Everyone just quietly go back into your cells and lock the door behind you, okay? Please? with every criminal I've put away in the last eight years. No biggie. Electro must be working for someone. <laughs> <laughs> this is too good to be true. Scorpion, can you hold on a minute? I was in the middle of a phone call and it was business. Spider-Man, I thought this was a chase! Gotta stop this guy. If you tell me who you're working for, I'll go easy on you! Can't stop it! But I'm flattered that you still try! Nobody ever takes me up on that offer! Jason! 
Electro, stop! How do you like my new suit? Dashing. Where'd you get it? It's an exclusive club. to do this at all if you don't want to. We definitely want to. Yeah, this. Oh God! Oh, this, so this is great. I got my own little TV. This is perfect. Yeah, I got it all. Yeah, it, it, Adam's doing a fantastic job so far. It's been really good. So first of all, you're actually playing this right now. Yeah, that's right. And I, I do want to emphasize how yeah, beautiful we, this game is. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, well, well, yeah, Brian, tell me a little bit about what you guys want to show us uh, uh, this evening. So I think, I mean, the big thing is again, you know, I think that part of the Spider, the Spider-Man fantasy is to swing around New York City and you know to have you know not only just a great story but have a bunch of different activities in that world and we want to you know give people who attend e3 an opportunity to experience that so you know obviously we it's a big narrative driven experience but at the same time part of that superhero fantasy especially that spider-man experience is living uh within new york city and seeing that so um you know adam is one of uh He's one of our combat pro players because uh, he's a combat designer, and uh, <laughs> again, he's just showing off some really awesome stuff. That um, as you get better at the game, obviously, you know, we wanted to have a pick up a play field, but at the same time, have a level of mastery and to really uh, show off the improvisation that we've really been uh, talking about a lot since uh, we announced the game. I'm digging this like sticking dudes to walls and to the floor and stuff. That looks really, yeah, really satisfying. Yeah, I mean, I think the the thing that's been really fun in these last, you know, I would say last six months since uh, we got back from the holiday break was every week I feel like I'll take the game home or I'll be playing one night and then I'll come in and say wow guys I didn't know you could do that so I think is there's a lot of that there's that sandbox nature to it as well so I mean obviously you can you know we have you know, we're gonna teach you mechanics but we want you to experiment with you know his acrobatics his webs his gadgets his suit powers so combining all that stuff really allows for a lot of different gameplay and a lot of you know Spider-Man is a very expressive character. We want players to be able to express that, whether it's in traversal or in combat. It's gorgeous. These animations, sorry, these animations are just blowing my mind. Your, your studio has kind of been renowned for character animation and for, you know, just fluid motion. I mean, did you guys take a lot of lessons from your previous games and really, like, hone in on those when you were developing oh, yeah. I mean, I think animation's definitely been one of the hallmarks of our of our company, you know, from, you know, from Spyro to Ratchet to Sunset Overdrive. Yep. And, I mean, you know, I remember when um, the Sunset Overdrive reviews came out, one person actually wrote, it would be great to see Insomniac make a Spider-Man game. And I was like, see, see, we should make it. <laughs> see? And I think we you just, waved your phone around it, it, to the whole studio. Exactly. We took that kind of mentality and we just injected our kind of our personality. It, but also, um, you know, what do people want, desire from a Spider-Man experience? So, you know, it was really great as I remember... Um, Probably around the end of the year, uh, in the last year, someone wrote an article about the top things they want to see in Spider-Man, and they said they want to feel like an Insomniac game. So, I think that's the, the thing we've been really layering on in this last year is to have that. Um, it feels like an Insomniac game as much as it does a Spider-Man game. And I love this traversal. I mean, just the fluidity of just moving over great distances very quickly. It looks like a lot of fun just moving around, and that's when you know you've got a great game. Okay, so the <laughs> okay, the, and there, so you know how I kind of said like exper experimenting, but like. 
sometimes you know I mean game development you know we're you know we're you know we're in meetings a lot and then sometimes you just need to like take a break and what I used to find myself doing was just swinging around New York City it was almost like therapeutic it's just kind of like when I play other games I just uh, walking or running or um, or even taking a car just it feels so more natural now just to swing around swing around like spider-man so it's it's definitely one of those things that has that again just like combat that pick and play feel but we want players to have a level of mastery um, <laughs> as they play and get what was that hold on a second okay. very interesting what so, you're saying there so like but, uh... I said so Adam showed off I think he showed off the tripwire it's basically yep. a gadget that you can either attach to a piece of geometry and the enemies walk by they'll get like grabbed and sucked back but you can also attach it to an, an enemy and if an enemy walks by they kind of slam into each other that is amazing this yeah. is so cool what's this focus meter about uh, yeah so the the focus meter is basically it's there's kind of a, a risk reward as you build focus you can use it to he heal <laughs> it's having a religious it's experience. just that's incredible <laughs> okay thank you that's, the team works really really hard on it really really hard Clearly. and the idea is the focus is kind of a way yeah. to you can it's a risk reward like i said you can either heal yourself or you can kind of um, if you get built, fill up the bar a certain way, you can actually pull off a finishing move. So, you know, as as you play the game, you kind of say, well, do I want to maybe heal myself real quick, or do I want to wait for that really extravagant move to kind of take the guy out instantly? Got so, it. Yeah. Brian, a question for you is uh, obviously Spidey has, as with his experience being under the mask for so many years now, yep, and eight years. Your story, yeah. Eight years. Thank you. You got to be precise. I got it. <laughs> People, the first, one of the first questions I get is like, "Is it an origin story?" I'm like, "No, that was no, like after we decided that the webs were definitely attached to the buildings, we decided <laughs> it's not going to be an origin story." But uh, but you know, back to the combat. I mean, Spidey's experience. He has access to a lot of different techniques and technologies. How do you balance out his experience with the fact that you don't want to overwhelm a player with options, right? You want to make it approachable. You know, I, I really that that comes down to our our combat team, our traversal team, like and this our, guy our right designers, here. like Adam, <laughs> and really going. Okay, Okay, you know, kind of um, handing that stuff out over the course of the game, you know, finding those right spots where you kind of, okay, we're going to teach you how to punch and how to kick and how to punch guys up in the air and use your webs. But then we lay on, layer on things like gadgets and then the suits and the suit powers. And it's just, it's kind of giving over time. If we just, you know, one thing with some like E3, you know, we want you to feel great.